Hey friends, it's Ashton here again with Gensense. Today we're going to be taking a look at my top five patchouli colognes slash fragrances. Now when I say patchouli, I mean patchouli. I don't mean fragrances that have patchouli as a note. I mean fragrances that are like 90% plus patchouli dominant. So these are not going to be for everyone. If you don't like patchouli, you will probably hate every single one of the fragrances on this list. But that's just what we're rolling with today. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First off, an honorable mention. Patchouli Leaves by Montal. This is not a fragrance that only has patchouli as a note, but it is definitely patchouli dominant. Uh, you get almost a chocolatey feel off the top. It's more of a resinous patchouli, maybe slightly earthy. Uh, there is vanilla and amber as this dries down, which adds a little bit of warmth. Um, but there's also just the tiniest, tiniest little bit of powder. Uh, like almost all Montals, it has beastly performance, so you don't want to go crazy on the trigger. And it is pretty pleasurable and it's fairly wearable, especially because lots of Montals are not that wearable. Uh, but this one just barely didn't crack the top five. I know it's lots of people's favorite uh, patchouli fragrance, but not in the top five for me. Number five is Cashmere Patchouli by Hugo Boss. Uh, this has a patchouli note with spicy undertones, and the patchouli is not dirty or dank or earthy or anything like that. It's really fresh and kind of soft. And I think the softness to the patchouli is what they're trying to make you perceive as the cashmere note. Uh, it's masculine, uh, it's wearable, and it's sophisticated. It's got great longevity, it has great sillage. You can pick this up usually on Beauty Spin for a decent price, uh, and it comes in this 50 ml bottle. The presentation on this is actually really nice. I might do a review on this in the future and kind of give you the full rundown, uh, but this is my number five. The opening is not the greatest, but about 10 minutes in, it starts to soften up and it's just a really nice, classy patchouli scent. Patchouli Absolute by Tom Ford. This one is mainly patchouli, but there are also added wood notes, especially in the dry down. This one isn't really dirty, but it's also not super clean. It's somewhere in between. It is a little bit damp, and um, like I said, as it dries down, woods do come into the fold a little bit more, which gives it almost a slight dusty feel, but it is a very nice, very wearable scent. Uh, this one is unisex. It's not super masculine or anything like that, uh, but I do really enjoy it. Um, something about the added woods kind of takes away uh, trepidations about wearing a patchouli based scent. Uh, it does have great performance, but like most Tom Ford private blends, it is a little bit on the expensive side. Up next is Patchouli Eau de Parfum by Molinard. I actually discovered this through Olfactif a few months ago and knew I had to get a bottle. And the bottle itself looks really nice sitting on display. It's a great purple color. This is a slightly more fresh patchouli with a little bit of an herbal take. It's not dark or dank or really dirty at all. It's really wearable. Uh, it does come across as classy and masculine, so you can dress this up or dress it down. The performance is good on this one as well. And this is a little cheaper than some of the other ones on this list, so it's a little easier to pick this one up. Patchouli Imperial by Christian Dior from the Privé line. This is a more smooth, refined, earthy patchouli that's kind of softened a little bit. There's sandalwood in this as it dries down, but the sandalwood does not overtake the patchouli, and it's not a sweet sandalwood. Uh, there's also some coriander, which adds kind of a green feel uh, to the fragrance. It's really nice. It's classy, refined, sophisticated. It's not abrasive. It's not assaulting. So this is a patchouli that you can wear uh, and even if people don't really like patchouli, you may not turn them off. 
but make no mistake, it is a patchouli dominant fragrance. So again, if you don't like patchouli, you probably won't like this one. That brings me to number one, Classic Patchouli by Von Usersdorf. So this one is a little expensive, but it is ultra refined, ultra sophisticated. The opening is a little bit off-putting for some people because it's a, a very realistic patchouli that is earthy and uh, contains almost the entire plant, the stem, the leaves, even the dirt almost. It doesn't come across as off-putting to me, but to someone that doesn't like patchouli, it will definitely come across as off-putting. As it dries down, it gets a little creamier and it becomes almost like a chocolatey patchouli. It's very easy to dress this one up. Uh, like I said, very classy, very masculine, very sophisticated, ultra refined, and a very deep fragrance. When you breathe it in, you'll, you'll just really feel the entire breadth of this fragrance. It's, it's really nice. And I mean, just look at the, uh, the juice color there. Look how dark that is. You can kind of tell just by looking at that what you're getting yourself into when you spray this on. And uh, the performance is great. Lasts for a long time, projects really well. So you don't want to spray too much of this on because like I said, just look at that juice color. You're gonna, you're gonna drown the room out if you go too crazy with the sprayer on this one. And uh, as far as like summer days, don't do it unless you just hate everyone around you. All right guys, that is my top five for patchouli fragrances where patchouli is the dominant and or only note. Uh, with one honorable mention. Let me know what your favorite patchouli fragrances are or if you hate patchouli because I know lots of people do. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.